Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Wednesday webinar. We've got an incredible, incredible treat here. I just want to make sure that uh, we're getting started here in just a few moments. Up, oh, pouring in here. We already have uh, quite a few people chiming in, and the numbers just keep rising. So um, feel free to uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me. Go ahead and just drop something in the chat. Let me know if you guys can hear me. There we go, Esther. Hey, Esther, how's it going? Melissa, how are you? Adrian, Heather, Gwen. Oh my goodness, look at this, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Everyone, again, welcome to tonight's Wednesday webinar. My name's Antonio Ray, a North American Sales Manager. Um, still come in, yes, everyone can hear me. Hello from Calgary. Um, and thank you everyone for taking time out of your busy schedule um, and let me just set it up this way we've got an amazing amazing speaker i want to try to see if i can get rid of that glare there just a moment uh, uh, from from that light so um we've got an incredible speaker uh someone who is going to share some uh, some strategies principles that um, not only helped her achieve last month's promotion but it's been helping her advance her her um, move her business forward. I've taken a, I've taken a look at her numbers, and she has about doubled her QV every month since she's got started. So definitely get out your your pen and paper, and uh, let's go ahead and take down some notes because I know I'm going to. Um, as a matter of fact, here we have joining us. I'll introduce her. her uh, I'll introduce her here in just a few moments. I wanted to recap. Uh, the promotion that we have that started this month, and it's going for the next three months. What is going to be shared today is going to help you achieve that in the next three months, something that helps Krista achieve the promotion in eight short days. So you definitely want to take those notes. Um, but a quick recap of the promotion. It's called the Upgrade Promotion, the Upgrade Challenge Promotion. It's quite simple. For the next three months and for every single month, increase new volume. It's got to be personal volume. It can be from business partners or customers, but increase new personal volume of 1500 for each month. So example, this month, new business partners or new personal customers, 1500 QV this month, again in March and again in April. I'm just going to try to get rid of some of this glare here. So, um, for, so 1500 every month. Okay. Or Let's say that you achieve 2,000 this month, and then maybe next uh, uh, in in March, you only earn let's say 1,000. That's still okay. You're in the game. That's a total of 3,000 QV for those first two months. Just make sure that the last month you bring in 3,000 for a total of 6,000 QV for February, March, and April. It's actually quite simple. So I'm talking about. I'm sharing the promotion. And a lot of you are probably new to uh, uh, new to Kayani. So let me share a, a little bit about what's going to happen when you do this. When you increase 1,500 QV, personal QV, from new business partners or new customers over the next three months or a total of 6,000 QV for the total three months, you get to upgrade your Mac. So I'm happy to announce. I'm actually excited. Uh, uh, I'm excited to announce this. You get to upgrade to the new Mac air this is a twelve hundred dollar value for those of you who may not have um, a laptop for those of you who are looking to upgrade your laptop here's an amazing way of doing just that by continuing to share kayani for the next few months okay so check out skyler did it, our, our uh, uh, vice president of uh, north america sales did an amazing job at highlighting this promotion in uh, a Facebook Live that he did, check it out. It's on the North America, the Kayani North America Facebook check uh, or page. Check that video out. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce our guest speaker. I'm super excited to hear from her, hear about her strategies um, and what helped her achieve this. And again, we can apply these same principles to help us achieve the upgrade challenge. So, without further ado, we have Krista here to share with us. Her strategy. So, Krista, take it away. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Antonio is so great. Well, I'm excited to introduce myself. First, I am a wife. I've been married for almost four, well, 14 years now. I'm a nurse by trade, so I've been in labor and delivery for about the last 10 years. 
I'm a mom. I have three children. I have a nine-year-old son, a six-year-old son, and then a little seven-month-old surprise son. So three sons and a husband. So I guess you could say technically I have four boys. So I'm very busy with them. Uh, my husband and I, we used to own a couple CrossFit gyms. We started and sold. And I also have been in the nutrition industry for quite a while, about just over 10 years, I started my nutrition coaching business as well. So health and wellness, it's kind of my thing. Um, I came across Kayani from a friend named David Romero. I actually used to be his CrossFit trainer. So I used to kick his butt in the gym a little bit. And he actually reached out to me two years ago. He said, Krista, I have the most amazing thing. We used to bounce ideas off each other at the gym of, how we were gonna strike it rich or how we were gonna leave our day jobs. He was a firefighter at the time and both of us were working nights and weekends and holidays and just kind of the grind of life. And he said, I have the most amazing opportunity. You have to check this out. I said, yeah, no, thank you. As a gym owner, I had been approached by just about every nutrition supplement and oil company that you could possibly imagine. And I said, no, thank you. Well, he reached out to me eight more times. It might've been nine. I finally started ghosting him and flash forward two years later, here we are. And I saw a post by him on Facebook and he just had posted how happy he was, just financially free, feeling good about life. And so I reached out to him. I said, David, what are you doing? He's like, Krista, I'm still doing the same thing I was doing. I'm like, oh crap, okay. He's like, are you ready to come to a meeting? And finally I said, okay, what do I have to lose? So I came to a meeting with my husband. I saw the presentation and I thought, oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is definitely different than anything I've seen before. And David said, just trust me, Krista, you can do this. And so with his trust, with me trusting him and his confidence in me, I jumped in with both feet and I'm so happy I did. So my reason why I started doing Kayani was mostly because I'm ready to retire from nursing. And not that I don't love that job, I love helping people, but I don't like that it takes me away as far as time-wise from my family. I work nights, so I work 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And my patience level with my children is a little on the lacking side on nights that I'm working. And so my goal really in doing this is to supplement our income and provide us with some passive income that I can leave that profession and we can focus on our family and have more time together. So when I heard about the January promotion, I'm a CrossFitter at heart, and so a little competition is the way to really help motivate me. However, you have to understand the month before, so I joined the company in the end of November. The month before in December, I had brought on nine new business partners. So I literally had gone through all of my contacts, gone to meetings, sent videos, what I felt like was a ton of work in building my business. So when I heard about the January promotion of 2,500 new QV, I thought, holy crap, oh, hot dog, this is going to be really difficult. I wanted it to happen. And in fact, for Christmas, my husband bought me new AirPods and I was a little disappointed that they weren't the AirPods Pro. So when I saw the new promotion, I was like, oh, this is for me. I have to make this happen. I can do this. Well, Starting out the month, I thought, okay, this is going to be difficult. So I set out some goals and I decided I'm going to have to dig deep into my contacts and really find some people that I can bring on in my business to help me get this QV. So I made some goals with activities as far as what I would be doing as far as consistently um, reaching out to people every single day. So my goal was um, 10 people a day. It didn't have to necessarily be new people, but just generate conversation so that I was in the habit of talking to people. So I'd reach out on Facebook, wishing people happy birthdays, texting old friends. I would wake up in the morning and I would go through the contacts in my phone and literally people who I hadn't spoken with in a couple years. I just would start generating a conversation. And one of my favorite tools that I utilized was the hamburger method. Just, hey, how's it going? Yes, I'm doing amazing. I started a new business. My family's doing so good. And almost always they would say, oh, tell me about your new business that you're doing. And that's kind of how I would start those conversations. So I would reach out to 10 people every single day and then my other goal was to attend one PBR a week. And at every PBR, my goal was to have at least one new person at that PBR just to get them experienced and kind of show them the information. And then the next goal was just to talk about it casually with friends and family members, not to be pushy, but just um, 
yeah, I'm taking this new supplement. It's awesome. And I really like it. And then continue on with conversation, kind of give them a little hook that they could bite on. And then if they had questions, they could um, contact me and, or they could ask in our conversation and say, you know, what, what type of supplement are you taking? Or I said, I used to have migraines a lot as a nurse and I hadn't been taking ibuprofen and a few people had noticed and they said, well, what are you doing? What's different? So I kind of use those tools to help. And I feel like the first three months or the first three weeks of the month, I had zero, zero new business partners and no new customers. So at this point it's January 23rd. And I thought, oh my gosh, is this going to happen? I'm not sure if this is going to happen. I kind of had a little negativity creep in there. And then my parents, my mom had sent me a text message and she said, my knee's feeling so good. I'm going to join the business. Now you have to understand she was super negative in the beginning. So as soon as she said, she felt like the products were working, it put the wind in my cells. I was like, okay, I can do this. I signed her up on the 23rd. And then in seven days, I signed up an additional four business partners. I hustled really hard. Now, a couple of things that helped me stay committed during that time was my family. I have young kids, so attending PBRs or being on phone calls or being busy when I'm at home can be difficult for them to understand. So as a family, we sat down and we set goals and we made a giant poster board filled with our goals for the year of things that we wanted to accomplish. And they knew I wanted to hit the January promotion of the AirPods. And they also knew that I wanted to hit the Sapphire position. When I hit that position, they were my biggest cheerleaders. We had a family cheer. We celebrated. I called my family. I called my friends. I was so excited. And then we also took our kids to Target and we let them each pick out one awesome thing because they really sacrificed a lot to help me accomplish that goal. Now, was it easy? No, I had a trip planned on the end of the month. It was on that Friday where the month was ending. And I had told one of my other business partners, I said, listen, if I don't hit my goal before I leave on this trip, I'm literally going to have to be on the phone for the entire drive down to St. George, which is about a four hour drive from where I live, which I hit my goal the night before and I was so happy. And I really attribute that success to just staying consistent. I, anytime a negative thought would creep in, I would replace it with something positive or I would talk with my husband and say, hey, how do I make sure this goal is happening? And he would just cheer me on. Or I would reach out to my mentors and say, I don't know if this is going to happen. And of course, as a great mentor, as the Romeros are, they said, Krista, you can do this keep working, keep going, you can make this happen. So I really feel lucky in the fact that I didn't get um, overly discouraged enough that I stopped. I just kept going. Even three weeks into the month when I had no new business partners and no customers, I feel like that could really get on somebody's mind and weigh negatively where that they would want to stop. However, I just kept going. I kept reaching out every single day. I kept calling my mentors every single day and I didn't stop. So that is my one piece of advice that I would give to every single person is don't stop. Discouragement is going to creep in your mind. You're going to feel like I'm three weeks in the month and I have nothing. But if you don't stop and you keep going, you can accomplish your goals. You just have to stay the course. You just have to do the little things every single day. And that's really what's going to help. So with this new promotion coming out, 1500 QV a month, that sounds a lot easier than 2500 QV. Just three simple business partners. And people ask, how do you get business partners? They're a lot easier for me to acquire than customers are. I keep losing my customers to business partners. However, I feel like the one thing that I do that really helps with business partners is excitement. They can hear it in my voice. They don't hear stress like, oh my gosh, if I don't have this person sign up then I'm not going to hit my goal. It's just excitement. Why? Because this product works. It's helping so many people. And if I can help any person that's struggling, I am happy to do that. And number two, it's helping people financially. And who doesn't want to have a little extra financial help. In fact, one of my business partners, she doesn't even need the business financially, but she said, Krista, I trust you. And she's like, I would love to have a little extra passive income to invest 
differently. So never write off any person. People that you think, oh, they might not want this or they don't need the money, reach out to them because they absolutely could need this or want this and they could be your greatest asset on the team. So that's my advice for everyone. Thank you, Antonio, so much for having me here and for allowing me to share my story. I can't wait to see everybody crush this next challenge that we have going. There we go. Now I'm unmuted. So, um, Krista, thank you very much. I took down two pages worth of notes. I was worried. I only brought two, pa two pieces of paper with me, man. I was just trying to fit it all in there. And let me just kind of share a couple of things that I wrote down um, as she was talking, everyone. This, this is it. This is how we make things happen. I love how she set it up that my first three weeks, zero, nothing right? We're planting the seeds as each day passes. We plant the seed, we water, we nurture it. It's not going to sprout the next day. It might be the next week. It might be the next week, but what are we doing while this time passes? What are we filling our heads with? As Chris mentioned, you know, that, uh, um, that doubt started to creep in, you know, and I was, you know, I, I, she mentioned reaching out to the Romero and saying, I don't know if it's going to happen, you know, the last few days of the month, nothing's happened. And all of a sudden, she gets a call from her mom saying, hey, this is helping me. I want to do this. That's the first, uh, uh, the, first, uh, the first little plant that sprouted up saying, hey, this works. Stay consistent in your building. It's building those relationships, as she mentioned, you know, reaching out to Facebook. Um, and I love how she said, hey, happy birthday. You know, I, I was telling those that I wanted to reestablish or, or uh, um, really strengthen the, the, the relationship, that friendship again. Hey, happy birthday. Haven't talked to you for a while. All of a sudden, it creates conversation. That conversation leads to, hey, let me tell you what I'm doing. All of a sudden, it's there you go. There's your customer or there's a business partner. I love how she highlighted that, you know, um, the, hey, how are you? It's been a while. Be sincere when you, uh, when you approach that. She, she highlighted that very, very well. Um, and then she really... Uh, outlined, hey, this, I, I, I outlined my goal and this is what I did. I love how she started with dig deep. You've got to dig deep. When times get tough, dig deep, find that strength again and get back, at, you know, get back out there and keep making those calls. I love how she made that commitment to herself saying, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make 10 calls a day, right? 10 approaches, not going to bed until it happens, 10 approaches a day. Yes, it's going to weigh, or that, that, that might weigh if you're not getting any responses. But if you notice, she used the word consistent quite a few times. That's the secret sauce that we're all, hey, what's the secret? What's the secret to doing this? Stay consistent. Follow through with your commitment, right? Find what drives you. What she found that drove her is, hey, I'm going to use my competitive edge, right? I love a good, you know, uh, um, good competition. I'm going to take this. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to go do this, and I'm going to do this. When I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to follow through. She used that competitive edge, right? A lot of us have that competitive edge. Some of you are thinking, well, I don't think I have a competitive bone inside me. That's okay, right? Use what works for you. If it's being competitive, it's, if it's helping others with, uh, with, with health concerns, or if it's helping others with a financial uh, a financial, financial solution to generating that uh, um, supplemental income, right? Achieving that financial freedom. So, I mean, I took a lot of great notes. I'm going to use on my coaching calls as I continue to reach out to um, to, to a lot of you on on the on the call today. But again, as she mentioned, 1,500 QV a month, three business partners, right? She shared her secrets. Write it down outline um, your goal like she did. What am I going to do in applying what I just heard and, and, and learned today, right? Uh, a couple of resources that I, I'm going to uh, highlight is your support team, your mentors, okay? Use them. They're, they're there for resource. They're there for guidance, but also there for a, hey, you got this. You get back up and you keep making your phone calls. Utilize them. You've got the back office, you've got Kayani Pro, you have so many uh, resources to use as you share Kayani, you can't fail. The only way we fail is we don't show up, okay? 
Krista, thank you so very much. I know you mentioned you've got dinner all ready to, to, to go, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you again, everybody. Let's apply to what we learn here, the principles, the strategies, follow through. Um, I just want to highlight one of the, uh, uh, the comments made, great advice. Let's take that advice, let's incorporate it in our own plan on achieving the upgrade promotion. Remember, a Mac Air, uh, uh, and it's, it's, it's a value of $1,200. So for the next three months, go out there, share Kayani, 1,500, three, uh, three brand new business partners if you want to look at it that way. Customers count as well. Okay. If you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out to us, uh, either uh, customer service, myself. Okay. You can't fail. You've got a great team backing you up. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on tonight's webinar. I know we all learned something very valuable. Let's apply that, and let's get out there and share Kayani with those we know. Thank you again and have a great day.